Hello, my fellow Mando Fandos, and welcome to Screen Rant. I hope you guys are all having a happy holiday season, and speaking of season, the first season of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus has way too quickly come to an end, but thankfully, it looks like we won't have to wait too long to see the next chapter of the adventures of Din Djarin and cute little baby Yoda. Redemption, the eighth and final episode of season one, was directed by Thor Ragnarok and Jojo Rabbit's Taika Waititi, who also just so happens to voice the hunter turned nurse droid IG-11. And on that note, this video does have spoilers for the season one finale, so if you haven't gotten around to watching it yet, hit pause, load up Disney Plus, and come back to us in about 46 minutes, okay? Chapter 8 sees Din, Cara Dune, and Grief Karga face off against Moff Gideon, the former Imperial governor that ordered the hunt for Baby Yoda. In the end, thanks to IG-11's fiery sacrifice, both Din and the child were able to escape Navarro, but no good show ends without a good cliffhanger, and the finale left us with some big questions waiting to be answered when the show returns next fall. So with that, I'm Greg Elliott, and here are some of the biggest Star Wars questions that we're expecting Season 2 of The Mandalorian to answer. Okay, so first up, right about the time you were thinking, hey, what happened to Moff Gideon after his TIE fighter crashed? We see him cut his way out of the thing with a mysterious looking black bladed lightsaber, which is aptly named the Darksaber. Now you very well may be wondering what the hell is a Darksaber, and that's totally fine. It is something that has already shown up in the Star Wars universe. It was debuted in the Clone Wars TV show and also appears in Rebels, but other than that, it hasn't factored into any other Star Wars stories except for a very subtle Easter egg in Rogue One when Jyn Erso is searching for the Death Star plans and reads through a list of project names, one of which is Black Saber. The Darksaber is an ancient weapon that ties into the Mandalorian more than you might realize. It has significant importance to the people of Mandalore, as it was the saber of the first ever Mandalorian Jedi, Tar Vizsla. It was passed down through the generations eventually, coming to be held by Pre Vizsla, the leader of the Death Watch and House Vizsla during the Clone Wars, before he was ultimately killed by Darth Maul, who then took up the blade. Even Sam Witwer, Darth Maul's voice actor from The Clone Wars, took to Twitter to express some surprise that it showed up in The Mandalorian. So, the big question here is, how did someone like Moff Gideon end up with it? Well, it's obvious that he's going to play a big part of Season 2, and I expect that we'll learn more about that very thing when the show returns. But either way, it's pretty damn cool to see the Darksaber make its live-action debut. Okay, switching gears, ever since introducing the little dude currently known as Baby Yoda, fans have been eagerly awaiting to learn more about him. Although he's been a central element of the show, Season 1 hasn't really revealed all that much other than he's clearly the same species as Yoda and clearly Force-sensitive. Hell, prior to this, the only other Yoda-lings we'd ever seen were Yoda himself and very briefly Yaddle from The Phantom Menace. But the season finale now gives us a better idea of where the show is going, as the Mando's new mission is to reunite Baby Yoda with his species, even though the Jedi Sorcerers were apparently once the enemy of the Mandalorians. And that's the million dollar question we've been waiting to find the answer to, what are Yoda's species? As of this moment, nobody knows! The name of Yoda's planet has never been revealed before, and neither has the name of the species, and it's not clear how the baby came to be. Was he naturally born and maybe Yoda's long-lost love child, or is he some sort of clone or strand cast that Quill mentioned in Chapter 7? There's no guarantee that Season 2 even answers this question at all. They could save that for the last few seasons, or even the last few episodes of the show, but I think it's safe to say that we'll at least learn something about Baby Yoda's people and planet at some point in Season 2. And you know that we'll be here to keep you in the loop, so keep coming back to Screen Rant for all your Mandalorian info. I'm Greg Elliott, and I've spoken.